Okay, welcome back to Taco Bola Gaming. My name is Taco Bola. We're going to continue our Germany campaign in Hearts of Iron 4. And uh, this is, of course, a new week. That means a new recording session. If I recall correctly, we were trying to invade Belgium. That wasn't going very well. Uh, we were doing a national focus to try and invade Switzerland. So far, they are unprotected. And we were also fabricating a war claim on Italy. And since Italy has a war goal against the United Kingdom, I think that the United Kingdom might not join them. I don't know. I'm also looking looking for some potential friends, uh, particularly as the Soviet Union is getting more and more aggressive. And there are a couple of nations that seem likely friends, as well as potential uh, problems. The Communist Party is growing in the United States, which is only 51% Democratic at this point. Uh, I would believe that the Soviet Union might be trying to boost their pop party popularity, and I have a ton of political power and no real knowledge of where to spend that. So I'm going to boost my own party popularity. I can move to total mobilization. The recruitable population goes down, um, but everything else goes up. I think that might be a good idea. And then I am noticing that Republican Spain here is here. By the way, they want to curtail the aggression of Belgium. The scary Belgium. Uh, okay. We have 34 uh, opinion. That gives us uh, three. Uh, in Spanish opinion of the German Reich, three positive reasons. I would suspect that we can maybe get that higher. Uh, I don't know how much higher. I don't know if we can get that extra 18 or 19 needed uh, to do that uh, to get them to join the faction or not but we can at least try and get a little bit more so we're going to improve relations and we're going to guarantee their independence as well um, that moves to 6 here so I suspect that we can only get to 10 there but you know it'll be something and we can try and figure that out if you know diplomacy in this game better than me let me know because that's you know something that is major major stuff there the other thing would be to perhaps i could boost party popularity in great uh, great britain united kingdom but it certainly seems as if they're they're full on right seems seems as if that's not going to be or that's going to be a fool's errand um we could try in like a turkey um they're very very close um, that wouldn't be a bad idea at all. Let me see how far are we away from this. They're not aligned, and that's what's doing it for us. Um, so again, let's just boost party popularity. Let's see what happens. Um, we have a few months until the next election, but uh, we'll be the highest. Who knows? Maybe we can get Turkey in a bit. Now, this war goal will be done on April 6th, so not that far away. And we are... Um, 53 days away from Switzerland, we can figure that one out as we go. Um, I do notice that we're pretty good here, and I think I'm going to just deploy all of these units. And we will put them in the panzers that uh, they wish to be in. And that will be a little bit of uh, good things. Um, we're going to stop executing this plan, and you know, it will be okay. I have considered... Um, I don't think I want to put any divisions in basic training. I think I actually want... What I want to do is to actually make some of these units be 40 width actually start to turn some of them over uh, we have we're missing you know 8,000 tanks we don't want to do that there we are missing some support equipment so maybe we don't want to do that um, but we have 26,000 infantry equipment uh, although we're losing yeah we could do motorized we could turn the motorized in let's see what the motorized division is um, it's a combat with an 18 what can we add to this? Motorized artillery, motor mechanized infantry. Uh, 
I have not messed with this at all. I've just trained them. Okay. Well, first off, how do I copy? Duplicate. New division. It didn't save. Okay. So we're going to create. Oh, no, 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 Okay. So I think I get it now. Are there any suggestions? I don't know what. Because uh... okay, so this is motorized infantry, not mechanized infantry. What is the difference? So it's a little bit better soft attack, a lot better heart attack. Max speed goes down. That's not nothing. Well, we for sure want to get that done. To get combat width. And we're going to just do that in the actual thing here. And we, you know, have so much support equipment done, but, uh, you know, we're down a lot of support equipment. So let's go ahead and try and find the support equipment. Um, we're going to move this up here. And that should be okay. Let's go to construction. We are building military factories, and we need a lot more. So I'm going to just build military factories like crazy, because we need a bunch. I guess I'll hold it there. Um, I feel like we could at most recruit or train some infantry. But honestly, I would rather just make some 40 width infantry divisions rather than train new. But since we're losing, we have 23,000, but we're losing almost 1,000 a day. So I don't really think that that's a great idea. What would this look like? You know what, the, the infantry is not going to be done until Switzerland. So I will take a look at what might that look like in between. Now I know that in April we have the naval invasion. I can invite to a faction. Spain wants in. This will be great because Spain will now uh, attack the French commune. And that will um, with a lot of troops. That will actually force some of their troops down and out here. That's great. That's really, really great news. Let's go ahead and stop all those offenses. I do want to make sure that this one is continuing. Because this offensive into France territory here is going well. So this is great because now they should start advancing. They're not. They should start advancing into France. That will lower the troops that they have up here that they're committing to that fight. Just cross the river. We have to defend this, this territory here. We have got to defend that. We will lose Liège. That's fine. We have to defend this. We can't get seven tanks cut off. That That's a no-go. Oh, it's the Netherlands. Okay. So let's just retreat back 
and we will um, find that unit and I will undo that line well, it'll be fine to keep that there just hopefully they move in because I, I don't want to lose that unit don't want to use lose all those units that would be very 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 bad Oh, they hadn't been called in yet. I knew that. There we go. Oh, that's great news. Great, great stuff. All right. We also could probably get Mexico or Brazil. Well, Brazil's full on, aren't they? How about Argentina? That would be classic. Peru. What's stopping you from joining the faction? My experience in, in South America, which admittedly is not much, would be that anyone join the faction, everyone else will join against us to try and hop on it. That's like a powder keg waiting to happen. The Soviets are, are you know, maybe? I don't know. Um, oh, naval bomber? No, don't care. Do not care. All right. They are finally moving in there, which is good. This will this will work out fine. Just halt. This will be okay. This will be okay, Taco. This will be okay. Now I do wonder that we, I did find out that I can actually trade for oil. Um. The U.S. is the most common to trade for oil. And frankly, I have some civilian factories. So, um, getting some oil wouldn't be a terrible concept. Um, let's see. Daily gain is 6.2k. And by the way, let's uh, let's get out of the U.S. because we apparently cannot protect ourselves. Let's send a bunch to there so we can apparently get fuel. Get to the new day and see if that changes. We bring in oil. I guess having the oil doesn't change that? I don't know. Let's trade as much as I can. In oil, let's see if that even goes up. Okay, it did go up. We are theoretically gaining. Our daily consumption is 9.3 per day. I don't think that's nearly as much as we could. We will do that one as well. Now we have some amount gaining, but we have a maximum consumption of quite a bit. That might help us. Um, especially considering that we just don't have air superiority at all. Um, let's go ahead and get air superiority in the places we're actually fighting. Put one unit there. Fine. Oh, I see. Okay, this will work. I do not like how they're winning, but all right. Let's get back in here.
That could be bad for sure. Spain's pulled some units off. You think you've got this. I hope you're right, because I'm going to go ahead and send everyone on the Machino line. Let's see what happens. If we can just break through a little bit, it will help. By the way, research, how is research coming? Okay, research is doing what it's supposed to do. Um, fuel is kind of what it is, I guess. We could get more. Okay, guys, it's vital that we actually get in there. Thank you. Vitally important. We actually get in there and win. So I'm going to actually tell this group to create a fallback line of no fault. This is not working for me. Of creating a fallback line of here. And I actually want all divisions to it. Ignore this. The idea here is I'm going to actually pull back to extend the line and force Belgium to like actually grow out a little bit. Actually, yeah, because they're so bad in organization there. I think it's going to be better just create the fallback line, let Belgium grow out, and then we'll counterattack as we can. And tomorrow, this is done. And we have the independence is guaranteed. Fine. 97% done, but I can't afford to not do it. I have no desire to fight the United Kingdom and France if I can avoid it, so I won't. What I will do is I'm going to send this group now. Delete all orders. I want you to create a front line here with Yugoslavia. And, of course, the offensive line to there go with that and this group you are actually I think I'm going to have you make a new naval invasion from here to let's say here no create a naval invasion from here to here. I think that's good. And as far as navies go, congratulations, you get to go back home. And uh, we're going to naval invade, um, remove all regions. Hey, no, come on. Here. There. Like, go here. Naval invasion support. Just this one. Right click to add region. Thank you. Okay. How's our equipment coming? We're still behind on tanks quite a lot. Falling further behind on support equipment, further behind on artillery. Motorized is going up. 
I think motorized are our chance to get around the line ourselves. Of course, Spain could come in and take all this, which would be what it is. All right, so they are moving. I think I'm going to, once again, change their plans. I want you to create a front line up here and an offensive line. Don't cross the river up there. And I want you to just go. And see what happens. Spain is doing its job, and I like to see that. Now you... Um, obviously we're going to delete that order. And I don't really know what to do with you right now. I'm going to actually tell you to just garrison defend this, you know, this general area. So should the Soviets attack, there's at least something to produce a kind of defense. Maybe. We are losing a lot of this. We need more of it again. Um, I guess British Raj will get some more from you. It will be okay. I know I'm getting zero planning bonus for this attack, but... Like, join in. Get a move on. Because in theory, we can at least get to the river over here and come at the French from the north as well. Things are going as poorly as the numbers indicate, but Spain's doing well. As the navy, the air force is doing very well. I like to see that. Let us. Okay, it's already split in half. Good. I want you to go down here and change your region to there, and the fighters. I'm going to split you in half. And I want you to do the same thing. You're going to go down here, and you're going to actually do Greece. I do like to see that France is losing so badly down there. Of course, France is losing badly up here as well. We do have a research open. Yay! A couple of research is open. Um, let's get Recon Company going, and let's get, um, that one going too. The same. Curious why the Navy is deciding it does not need to move. to support the naval invasion. Like, move. Get up there. Um, please don't attack north. I did not want you to do that. You know what? I'm not going to mess with them. I'll let them do their thing. That could be part of the problem. They are winning. Doesn't say they're winning, but they have pushed. So that's not nothing. You know, they have moved the Belgian line up here. Where are we here? 18 days. I hope Switzerland's not guaranteed by anyone. They're not.
I assume that Spain will eventually extend themselves too far and wind up, you know, problematic. Uh, we do have boosted popularity, but we don't have enough yet for the coup. Where are we in Turkey? Uh, it's February of next year. Okay. Unless they flip over before then. What's the United States doing? It's 30... 38%. Uh, so it's actually flatlined for Kamyas. So I think we may be the only ones boosting ideology. If they can flip the US, that would be a massive turn for the future. Yeah, I don't think the pure tanks are going to be able to cross this river very well up here, but if we can kind of push the line, extend the line, that's the whole general idea. Alright, so now we have China is is done. How's the war going between the Soviets and the Japanese? It's pretty much at a stalemate. Okay. Surprised they haven't been helping communist China. And Yugoslavia is cut. That's really great. Of course, Spain will want part of France. And I was hoping to get the achievement for occupying all of France. Um, what does the achievement actually state? But I don't even know how to make a bicycle unit. Um, it's like Tour de France or something like that. Uh, occupy all of mainline, mainland France while having at least 20 fully equipped bicycle regiments. No idea what a bicycle regiment is in-game. Look, if we can break through this line up here, and that would be really big. I don't think it probably is going to happen, but that would be really, really big if it did. Like, we've gotten a couple of units. That's fine. I have said like a lot this episode. I think I'm going to title this episode Like, because like, I've used like a lot, now I'm doing it on purpose, which is great. Oh hey, things are starting to happen out in the Mediterranean between France and Spain. That is something. This remains intact, though. And that's what I'm finding, is that the guide I saw is correct. That having just capital ships still wins. You don't lose any capital ships. You may maybe lose some battles here or there, but you don't lose any ships, and you can whittle them down as you go. We are even further behind in medium tank production, further behind in all of this stuff. In infantry equipment, we are now way down. So we... I mean... Is what it is. What are you going to do? If we can get a lot of the war participation, which I don't know what our participation is. Is that something that's shown on this form? It is. Uh, our casualties, of course, way more than anybody else. Uh, we have total war participation of 50%. So if we can make that go up, we should be able to get a lot of the peace deal, which would help us. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I think this was a very good uh, bunch of events. Yugoslavia is pretty much completely gone. Um, and I think we, uh, we have the French on the run, and we should have no problem in... Uh, winning this war and bringing it about. So I've been Taco Bola Gaming. If you have enjoyed, please do like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time.